fact, and as you know, it was it last week, the government announced that all Māori wards on local bodies that have not been introduced after a referendum which supported them amongst the ratepayers, they will be scrapped come local body elections next year, though you can hold a referendum to legitimise the creation of or the continuation of existing Māori local body wards. Um, I think that was wildly popular amongst many New Zealanders. I think it's precisely the sort of thing that we voted for when we voted for a change of government. But some are not so keen. And in particular, the lobby group that represents some, and it would seem to me a dwindling number, of local bodies, Local Government New Zealand, the body that was funded to the tune of several million dollars to support Three Waters, which has been scrapped. Um, but the head of Local Government New Zealand said this was an overreach by the government, an overreach. Um, that person is Sam Broughton. He's also the uh, mayor of the Selwyn district. And I asked him to come on the programme last week and I'd like him to thank him for taking up that, uh, that uh, offer. He joins us now. Sam, welcome to the platform. Good to have you with us. Yeah, morning, sir. All right. This government has the legal ability to make laws and laws regarding local government. Was there anything illegal about the decision it took last week regarding Maori wards and referenda? I think, like you say, the laws of the land are, are governed by central government. They, they set up what can and can't be done, uh, and they, they are responsible for, for setting those laws. So... Whether it's legal or not, um, whether that's not our um, that's not our fight at the moment. What we're saying is just allow. Uh, well, well local where does the overreach do the come in, Sam? When a government does something, it's legally able to. Oh, because the, the government um, needs to have a good partnership with local government. Uh, we serve New Zealand communities together, uh, and the government was pretty clear on wanting to. Um, make sure that we had um, a far more local decision-making um, way of which, doing which things. Which government, Sam? Oh, the coalition government. Yeah, OK, yeah. All yeah. right. So he he heading into the election, uh, there's a lot of conversation about how we make decisions more locally and how we think about New Zealand's system uh, as being um, over-centralised, which we all know it is. We're the most over-centralised country in the OECD. Uh, and so when it comes to making decisions uh, on how um, elections should be held locally, uh, that's a representation review is the process that a council goes through. Uh, and it sets up the number of wards, the number of councillors, whether there's community boards, the voting system, uh, and whether there's Māori wards. Uh, and that's all part of what the government has said is OK for a local council to do. Do you have Māori wards in Selwyn? No, we don't. OK, why not? Because uh, when we've talked with Mana Whenua about... Uh, Māori wards, they don't want them. OK, did you talk to non-mana whenua about Māori wards? Yes. Why is it more important what mana whenua think? Uh, because it's their representation around Well, it's uh, everyone's Maori representation, isn't it, Sam, wherever you are in the country? No, because every uh, elector um, decides, you know, if you're, if you're on the Māori role... Uh, if you're eligible to be on the Māori role, you can choose to be is on the Māori role. Is there a Māori local body role? So that's how we decide. I, I'm unaware of this, sorry, not being Māori. Oh, yeah. So, so, so only those that are on the Māori role can vote uh, for the Māori wards. And well, so what about in Wellington get, where, we have, one where we have kind of appointed Māori ward councillors? Yeah, so that's that's different again. So, But Māori wards mean that anyone that is on the Māori role mm. can choose to vote for the Māori ward, and they still must represent plus or minus 10% the same population as everyone else yeah, on the council. Yeah, and that is one so, thing that I've admit it's often misrepresented, the proportionality actually for properly constituted Māori ward councillors actually is, is the same as you need the same votes or you're drawing from the same voting pool. OK, right. why do we need Māori ward councillors though? Because obviously, Sam, you support them. Yeah. But councils that want to have them. So it's not about yeah, whether no, local but government... But you say says, councils should should that be. want to have them. It's ratepayers and electors that want to have them, Sam. It's not really a council's decision. That's overreach, mate. That That's the undemocratic part of about it, right? No, that's not, that's not right because government asks local governments to work through a representation review and that works with the local government oh, commission who in the end endorses... that's just bureaucratic bullshit, Sam. 
No, it's not. That's that's why we elect councils, isn't it? To make decisions on behalf of communities. We go but through how we elect how we elect councils, Sam, is up to the people. And it shouldn't be for people who are in power to decide how they get elected. That's a very rocky road to head down. Uh, and, I, and I think that is, a, is an excellent point, and we should have a wider conversation about why do councils choose what the next council should look like. Uh, no, no, and, no, and should people, there be some other ways of doing it? people should about always board. choose Sam. The people should always. Don't you get that fundamental thing about democracy? And they do, currently, through uh, the representation review. What so about the 45 ward councils or, or, or Māori wards that were not chosen after a referendum and, and, and full consultation? With ratepayers, the 45 that are going to go. There is still consultation through the representation review. We, we don't ask for a referendum on whether it's or not, not there a should vote, be six it's or 12 not a vote. It's not a vote, and anyone knows what a review is. You have a vote or you don't, Sam. It's, it's black or white. It's on or off. Yeah, and, and councils do vote for those things after mm. consultation with their community. The representation review is very clear about consultation with your community. yeah. yeah. Um, did did local government New Zealand consult with its members before you made your statements? Yes, we had uh, conversations last year about picking up or not picking up parts of the uh, independence panel future for local government review uh, and support for... Um, so every single member of local government New Zealand agreed with your overreach statement? And it Sorry, was met with you, So your statement last week about overreach by central government, right? on behalf of local government New Zealand, that was universally accepted by everyone who's a member of local government New Zealand? No, I would doubt that to be the case. Well, well then why the hell did you say it, Sam? Uh, because there's support for the government to do things that are important for New Zealand Inc. and thinking about... No, 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 let's the, get, the back, let's get the back to what representation to is, Sam, and I think here's a wonderful, here's a wonderful example... You are head or you are speaking as head of local government New Zealand, which has a number of constituent bodies in it, though I know some outfits like Auckland don't think much of you and they've left. But you say something on behalf of your organisation that not everyone in your organisation agrees with. That's not very representative, Sam. What we're saying is councils should be able to make that decision. It's not about Māori wards or not Māori wards. We're just saying let councils make that decision. The government doesn't... Why not let involved. voters... Why we, not let ratepayers make the decision, Sam? Why, why not let ratepayers make the decision on all of the whole representation review? That's, that's the question. Either choose it for everything or don't, yeah, don't but, but require it But the problem is all. elected representatives are not the right people to hold representation reviews that affect how they get elected. It is by its very nature problematic. Yeah, and so if that's the view, then let's have a referendum on, on whether there should be six or 12 councillors well, as well. Well, let the people decide whether we have a referendum or not. As I said, Sam, it's not really your business. That's overreach, I agree. Let's be, let's be consistent. Let's be consistent about whether there's referendum or not. That's exactly our point. It's not about whether there should or shouldn't be Māori wards. It's about whether, let's be consistent on the use of referendum. Yes. Sam, are you Labour-aligned or left-aligned? Are you anti-government? No. No, I'm, uh, I'm an independent. I here to serve the self Okay, you've never been a member of a political party? No, never. Okay, all right. And you wouldn't say that you're perceived as being aligned to the left? I have no support either left or right and have never joined any political all party. All right, well, it's good to clear that up. I, I didn't know, no, to be honest. Okay, but no matter whether it's overreach or not, the decision's been made, right? Yeah, that's right. 